okay guys to create your own whatsapp e-commerce store the first thing you need to do is go to play store and download this particular application so I'm heading to play store right now now this application you'll be using used to be known as what ash can you see this what ash that is the name of the application we're going to be using but the name has changed so it is now vipa so vipa formerly what ash but still go ahead and type what ash in the play store search but the result that it will turn out for you is vipa so what ash is no longer what ash it is now vipa but formerly what ash so this is the hub you're going to be downloading i have in on install here because i've already downloaded it on my phone but for you you would need to go ahead and click download here instead of this on install you're saying so go ahead and download it uh, let me just take you through the app and show you some of the features you can create a free online store with a product catalog and start selling on whatsapp vipas free store will help you to launch your own online store with a beautiful product catalog and, and features that allow you to start selling on whatsapp immediately you can share your product to your customers and start receiving orders on whatsapp so some of the features of vipa uh, online digital store you can create an online digital store you can create poll on whatsapp if you want to do survey maybe there's a product you want to start selling you want to know if your customers are interested which one they will go for so you can even create surveys uh, customer relationship management you can um, reach out to your customers you can help them with um, problems solve problems inquiries and all that you can manage your communication with your customers on on vipa then Vipa allows you to create like a, a one-page business website where you have your business name, your business logo, your business banner, what your business is about, so social media links, website links, and all that, just like a landing page. And so now, why Vipa? Vipa is an app that helps you in managing your entire business on WhatsApp. Vipa offers features like store poll, stores, poll, CRM, and all that. So um it's more like like a real e-commerce website but just that it is for whatsapp so this app helps you to manage your entire business on whatsapp so okay like i said you can create a business page you have your products catalog you can add new product for the free um accounts uh i think you have to add up to 50 products yeah you can share product on whatsapp you can manage your order there's payment in integration you can pay with stripe razor pay or paystack uh, i have a video on how to create a paystack account on the paystack payment page uh, i'll drop the link in the description below you can also use pay later if you use pay later um your customers are not paying directly they just they make an order and then you let them know how to pay and, and all that so you have a dashboard you have quick send you can easily contact your your customers so please go ahead and download this application if you haven't now if you've downloaded the next you want to do is come and sign up here so this is the hub here i'm going to open the app right now so if you have an account before just sign in but if you don't have an account um you have to sign up so uh, i'm waiting for this to leave so i want to create an account uh the name of my business uh, okay i don't want to use my name so let me use um yeah, wait. Let, let, let me let me use this By signing up, you agree to our terms. I will use and acknowledge that you've read our uh, create accounts. Now, when you create accounts, you're going to receive an email asking you to verify your account and your email um, address. Now, please make sure you do that immediately because 
if you don't do that the you won't be able to add products so um, let me just so my business name so I've I created a business for the purpose of this video and that is what I'll be using so my business name is easy man so about about my business we we sell classic uh, men's wear and accessories uh, my country Nigeria if you're not from Nigeria just uh, click here and select which country you are from but I'm from Nigeria so um, I'm going to select Nigeria but now my currency you can select different currencies here just select the currency of the country you are in or the currency you want to sell your products in I want to sell in Naira so I, I choose um, currency Naira now after doing that the next thing you want to do is add a cover photo and then add your logo so this is for your business page remember I told you you have a one page business website where you can put all your details and, and all, 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 all that so I'm going to add my my cover so this is my cover here um, my cover photo you're going to see it now and then you can always adjust so this is my cover photo um, you can move it around and adjust it uh, I want it to be like this so I'm going to come here so you can see this is my cover photo then I want to add the logo also uh, this is my logo here easy man so this is the logo I've created for this business uh, we sell classic men's wears and accessories we sell original product from US UK I'm talking finish yes so that's the first step um, you can see we've sent you and you're not verified we've sent you an email verify your account so please make sure you do this immediately it is very very important so that you will be able to add product so I'm just going to go ahead and verify my account right now I received an email saying thank you for creating an account um, to finish signing up and activate your account please click the button below so I'm going to activate my account right now so please do that so that you won't have issues with setting up your store especially adding your 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 product so I'm just gonna come here and click okay now that I've verified this is the Vipa app the first section here I'll be creating my business page the second section I'll be setting up my customer relationship management the third section I'll be setting up a store and then I'll be doing integrations and polls here so I'm gonna start with creating my business page so if you come here um, you can see this account settings now here when you activate this button it um, gives you screen notification whenever any order comes in so I think you should even do this and it even notifies you when your device is low you might not be with your phone all the time and a customer might just want to place an order at any time so you need to activate this um, you need to display over other apps so I'm gonna come here and give permission here you can see your profile and see the details you, you provided this is it if you want to delete your account at any time just come here to do that uh, you can see your subscription so uh, I'm using the free subscription okay let me, let me let me go back I don't think I want to do this now here at the top here this is your business URL that's your link to your website so that is the link you would share to your customer if I click this right now you can see it's going to open the store so you can see it's opening the store so this is what our store would look like um, for now the only thing that will appear here is the business page 
so so this is what it's going to like but here you're going to have your stone this is where you will see all your products we don't have any products right now um so this is what your customer sees when when they open your store um and so another thing is so if you notice here yeah, the the link is very very long let me, let me copy and paste so that you, you will see so you can see the link is very 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 long but i'm going to show you how you can shorten this link so let me go back um to vipa right now and then we can start creating our store so we've, the first thing we've created our business page. so let's finish our business page here we we'll provide our information for our business so we already have a profile image we already have a cover image we already have uh, our about section then language choose the language in your region i'm going to just you can do english or leave it in automatic address uh this is this um business is in ikeja lagos then country nigeria so this is my business info now that i've done this i'll come here and move to the next one number so my business number um you can add different numbers so that your customers can reach you i'm just going to click here um from nigeria so the number i want to use for this business i'm just going to put it here um so that my customers can reach me at any time so i'm going to put this number so i'm going to add this number so this number will appear on that business page i showed you um, you can choose to add another number the social links do, do you have like a facebook page for your business you can have different social media platforms you can do facebook twitter instagram and all that here so just come here and add any social media platform you want to add so because i created this business just for this video i haven't created any other page for the business here you can add external links also um maybe a link to another business of yours or a page just add links here and then finally you can link your domain name so um the the you can either use this domain uh your name dot what dot biz this one is a sub domain that is linked to vipa or you can just link your own domain that you've bought you can host your domain but if you don't have any just use the free one here this this and so you can also edit this um so this is my subdomain this is the free domain they're giving me so i'm just going to leave it at easyman.watts.biz if you don't want all those the, the numbers and the hyphens to show just come here and edit easyman.watts.biz so this is easier to remember so yeah this first section here is for creating your business page you can see my biz and um so let me come here and see what my business page looks like again so you can see now my uh, url has changed it's now easyman.watch.biz very very easy to remember than the other one that has numbers and letters and all that so here so just go to um domain subdomain and then edit it so this is what my uh, business page looks like um i don't have much right now here but i think i want to add my whatsapp number to this so that they can easily reach me okay um let me do where is it okay i want to do whatsapp now it's going to ask me for my url let me show you how you can how you can do that uh to create your whatsapp url um there's a way you can do that so just come here and uh, just do create create whatsapp uh, you can see whatsapp link
and they will take you to this so you create word.link i'm going to use this first one to do that so i'm um, just coming here and, and i'm going to create a whatsapp link so that i can include it um, okay so here create your whatsapp link i'm going to put my phone number here so this is the message i receive when people use this link um, create my wall link so this is my wall link here um, this thing here okay people can scan or i can just come here and copy link so i'm going to come here and put my whatsapp contact so here yeah, social link come here i'm going to select whatsapp show sure. so i'll just paste this link directly here that's for whatsapp so create so i've added a social link whatsapp now let me go back to my website my e-commerce store and then you would see the difference and don't forget to change this thing i already explained how to do that just go to domain and change this so you can see now that here on my business page um i have this whatsapp icon here so if i my customer click on that watch what it is going to do so I'm going to open a whatsapp chat with me so this is what would happen this is the message your customer would begin the conversation with hello easy man please i like to buy a product then the customer clicks send and then you cannot start responding uh you might want to create a whatsapp link and include it on your business page uh, it is very 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 important so we're done with the business page and here the crm uh that's customer relationship management uh you can i don't want to spend too much time here if you have contact you see your contact um you can add a contact uh for, for, for example you can just say um uh, dial whatsapp number so seven zero um you can add and send a message so you don't even need um to be on whatsapp directly you can add contact on the vipa and then reach your customers so just add a contact so you don't need to keep saving contact on your phone before you can reach them on whatsapp just add the contact on vipa come here put the name and start the conversation very very fast um you can come here and do quick replies if if you if you need to just come here and create quick replies um but for this video i'm really focused on this store uh, you can come here and create tags um let me just move to the store straight up because that is what i'm interested in but if you need to um maintain um connections or communication with your customers you use the crm feature here yes so this is what i'm really interested in store because that's what this video is all about so you can see here you have your dashboard let me open the dashboard so the the dashboard shows you your your performance for the month you can choose to see my performance for today apply and then you see you you see your your total orders your net revenue average order total items sold you see those who haven't paid those who have paid customers you refunded so this is this is just so beautiful you can like a, a complete business management on whatsapp uh other status you can see those who are still processing so this is your dashboard then you come here if you come to the next one here you will see the orders that have been placed so if you want to check how many orders you received just come here then here product so this is where we we'll begin now if you haven't verified your email you might not see this uh, add category here first go back okay let me come here categories 
for example if you if you go to jumia you will see different categories you see phones you see clothing you see electronics computers baby stuff so that that's what they mean by category so here i want to put um uh, blazers these are some of the products i have in my store um i have what else do i sell i sell um t-shirts so t-shirts create another category for that um i sell bags another category for that then um i sell wrist watches i sell watches then i think i sell shoes also so i'm just going to leave it at this um five categories then i sell shoes now i have five categories here um then now let me add product so when i add product i can choose which category i want my product to go to so i think you should even create the um, categories first before creating product so for shoes i'm going to come here and add product now you can do two things here you can add simple products for simple product it does not contain any varieties but you can add variable products. So variable products are products that have different sizes, different colors, measurement, and all that. So it depends on whatever what kind of product you're selling. If it's just a simple product that does not have particular size, uh, shape, color, and all that, just click simple. So let me start with simple. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I'm selling shoes. You can see the categories. So don't forget to create categories first. Uh, let me first add the picture of the shoe I want to sell. What I did is I created a folder and added pictures of my products in it so it's easier that way so you can see all my products these are on my phone so let me start with this uh i don't know the name of the shoe actually uh so there's this brown leather boots so i'm just gonna put this uh brown brown leather boots uh category uh, it is shoe the shoe i'm selling a shoe now you can choose to do this regular price and selling price to give your customers the impression that they are getting it for a cheaper price or maybe if you are doing a sales so the regular price of this shoe is um 25 000 naira but i want to give it out for uh 15 000 naira so what it does is it will strike you do a strike through on the regular price and then leave the 15,000 error you can add more pictures uh, description um, then this is very 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 funny anyway okay so this is my description for my boots um, now this is for use SKU um, stock keeping unit so let's say for this um, particular boots I have just um 10 available in my store you can add link for more details uh when you're out of stock you can come here and click inactive here this and this is very important please so that your customers will not go ahead and pay for a product that you no longer have so whenever you run out of a product just click inactive don't delete your product so i'm going to come here and create my first product so we've added our first product this is our store this is the front end of our store um the app sounds like our back end so i'm going to come here and click store here so click on store are you going to see our first product is live you can see our leather boot so this is why i said you should create create categories so that your customers can easily find what they're looking for if i come to watches so this is very very it makes it easier for your customers so just list all the categories our five categories here this is our first product uh brown leather boots i'm going to click here open but the beautiful thing about um the this vipa app is that there's payment integration so your customers can pay you you can integrate paystack there's a video on that i created on how to create your paystack account and payment page so these are our boots um just like what you see on jumia this brand leather boots will give you the confidence you need to enter anywhere blah 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 you can come here and hard to cut you can choose how many you want i want one so you can see it. it's in my cart this is what your customers see then your customers can click continue uh you accept your customers to place an order on whatsapp 
so your customers might need to confirm their order here yeah. so i'm going to put my number so your customers comes here and clicks um place order order has been placed um 15000 era shoe you can choose to chat with store so we're going to add other products to our store so i want to do this very fast because of time we are still under shoes so let me just add like um two more products i'm sorry i have to do this very 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 fast let me just come here and add the picture first where are my shoes 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 there uh, okay okay i'm just going to add it this way doing that uh category is this shoe um yeah i'm just going to put selling price my selling price i'm selling this for um twenty thousand naira so there's a mistake i made here so when i was explaining let me go back when i was explaining this uh measurement and units um so i wrote here 40 this is not the size um so if our unit is um in kilogram for example then the measurement should be how many kilograms so does your product weigh so here it is one kg so you can see uh you have one pair of shoe you can see pair here or you can see pieces depending on what you are selling so i want to choose pair uh one pair of shoe but find out what measurement and units they use for your product in the market so i'm going to come here and do one pair also one pair uh let's come down here and do uh where is it here so i'm just going to have two products for each category so that is that for shoes watches now i'm going to move to the next category and add watches Let me select this. By the way, this wristwatch is very beautiful. So I'm going to. The name is um. Uh, current watch. Uh, current wristwatch. Um, category. Watches because that's the category I'm adding product under. Um, the regular price for this wristwatch is. Um, Fifteen thousand naira. I want to give it out for twelve thousand naira. Then the measurement are uh, one piece. So I'm going to use piece for this one. Um, there's one piece. Um, what the description? Had your description. So I'm just going to come and create product. Some I want to add product very fast to show you um, what it looks like let me show you this attributes so you can add attribute for your product remember i said you can add um, they showed us two ways to add product you can add simple product or variable product so this is where you do this first you can add different product attribute the size the color the weight so let me just come here and choose um size now you can choose how it will display um you can choose radio button everything appears you can just drop down menu or colors i'm not going to do this create because i'm using a free account i'm not be able to create more than three attributes so the next attribute i want i want to choose is color yeah um here i'm going to create let's see if i can add another one but i i doubt if they would allow me okay yeah so i can only create two attributes all right so now let me now explain how these attributes work now so remember we are under watches um let's create another product and now this time around let me create a variable product um i think i should still have another wristwatch in my product folder let me do this can choose to scale if you want resize um okay uh, regular price 
Now, I don't want to do red block. Let me just put the selling price. So, I'm selling this for 17,000 Naira. Put your description. If you want, create. Okay, am I missing something? Oh, name. Um, let me just put uh, silver uh, wrist watch, silver watch, silver watch. But please take your time to um, put your product name so that your customers are not confused and description. Um, yes, yeah, so I've added another product, but because the variable product, you can see this blue thing it is showing here so let me click it now this is a variable product we added let me let me go to shoes and show you something uh this is low fast so here you can see for our simple products we only have details images and um and badges yeah but if i come to my um variable product you can see it gives me more options so i'm under watches for watches i have badges i have attributes now remember I, we created like two attributes size and color so this is where you do that let me explain one other thing here and that is badges so um you might need to create badges to distinguish your offer on your site for example let's say um, I'm on sales so I want to let my customers know which product is on sale so I'm just gonna come here and choose uh, let's see let's see let's see um, create an emoji okay yeah, so I want my customers to know which product is on sale. So I've created a badge. That is very important. So you can distinguish your product. Um, so let me go back. I'm just going to create one badge. And then all these ones that I added regular price and selling price. So for example, this is my boots. I'm just going to come here and add a badge. So for this my boots, it's on sale. So I want my customers to know that it's on sale. Um, so I've added a badge, save. Uh, we are still adding, so we added two wristwatches. Now let's add bags and add product. Uh, should I add variable, just from gallery. Uh, I have some beautiful bags here. Yep, so this Gino bag. Um, I want to use this. I want this to be in the middle. So I'm just gonna come here. The name uh, Gino. Gino brown bag, brown leather bag. Uh, the category is bags. The selling price is. Uh, 30,000 Naira uh, description I don't do that create so I've added one product in bag uh, let's see what it looks like let me just add a simple product um, I think I have one other bag let's see there should be one other bag here um, bag uh, VXA, I think that's the name of this bag. Uh, I'm going to put VXA brown bag, brown leather leather bag. Then this bag I'm selling it for um, 19,000 Naira. Um, do I want to specify? It's just one one piece. Um, come here. So one piece. 
do this then i have a um, t-shirt i have t-shirt picture so remember i said i created a folder for my product so i'm just going to go there and locate so this is my product so here i have all my products here <laughs> um so what am i adding now i think i'm adding bags yeah so i have different different bags okay i won't have more than one so i want to add this um blue bag so let me just put um blue bag we can see here under t-shirt showing under category showing t-shirt because that, that was what i clicked on so i'm just going to come here and change to bags uh selling price uh let's say twelve thousand naira. measurements one uh unit one piece i'm gonna come here uh just save so you can see although i click t-shirt i have saved it under okay i have bags already oh so let me just go ahead and do t-shirts then um i want to be fast with this my battery is about to run out um t-shirts t-shirts okay um here choose from gallery um, so this is my folder here so i have um this t-shirt okay let me choose this osaka t-shirt i want you guys to be in the frame do this um so let me just name this t-shirt um black t-shirt categories so please ensure you confirm this category t-shirt um selling price is um five thousand naira you can put description if you want to um there's no time for that so i'm taking my time to explain how you add products because it's like the major part that's why you are opening your store so um because it's a variable product i selected um that's why it's showing me this so i'm going to come here um uh images do i want to add another image no but so let's say this one is also on sale so i'm going to do attribute uh what's the color of my t-shirt uh it is a black color here if you want to delete the product just come here and and do that um okay let me just save so let me just add another product quickly um let's see which other t-shirts do i have so i'm just going to add two So I want those guys to be in frame. So I'm just gonna use this um uh colored t-shirts uh beautiful um let me just name it beautiful t-shirt of course this is not how you would name your product beautiful t-shirt category the price I like this t-shirt so much so I'm selling it for 7,000 Naira of course I'm only selling one piece for 7,000 Naira so you want to specify because you can have more than one picture and then your customers think it is everything in the picture you are selling for seven so specify that it is just one find another picture now so you have two pictures your customers can think oh so I'm getting two shirts for 7,000 no it's just one shirt for 7,000 save so i said i'm going to be adding just two products so the last pro um, category here is um um 
blazers so let me just come here and add a product so i sell blazers too um let me come here uh, so i have these blue blazers Uh, blue blue blazer this is blazer or blazers so this blazer the actual price is um 45,000 naira but i want to sell it for 40,000 naira um, for my blazer uh, measurement one of uh, my units was units for clothes um, one 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 pay one bundle one box one jar one what's now yeah, let me just do it um, Okay, one save. Okay, I need to provide one piece. So let me just do one piece. All right. So I'm almost done with adding all the products. Um, so you can add up to fifty products for the free um plan, up to fifty products. So I want to come here and add another product so this is the last product i'm adding then i'll move on to show you how to integrate payments um in my second blazer i have another beautiful blazer like that um and by the way the blazer picture is not mine all the pictures are not mine um so i just got them from the internet and put them together uh so this brown blazer means um okay uh, no i think i have another blazer let me go back and check so i think it should be a blazer burgundy um let me just do blazer for me regular price this is beautiful i'm selling it for fifty thousand naira okay so create now i have to do this here yeah, is our final product yes so um we want to save this and we'll go to our store and see so we have five categories um, I took my time to create this so that you would not be confused. Um, so let's go back to our store. This is our front end. Let's see what it looks like. So here you can see all products. These are all the products on our store. Can you see? Very, very, very easy. I know you can add um, products on WhatsApp business too, but the beauty of this is that you can integrate payment here let's say you have like 50 100 products your customer does not want to go through the search of having to look for categories you can just come here okay what i want to buy i want to buy shoes just okay swipe shoes and then all the shoes appear here so you can see the customer can say oh okay i want to, I want to buy watches so categories make it easy for your customers to find what exactly they are looking for so bags come here you can see all the bags so these are your bags they your customers can change view how they want to view it you can do this or you can do this um t-shirt so the t-shirts we have in our store so you can see this 
so this is beautiful like this is very 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 beautiful and blazers so um, let me come to all products yes so this is what our store looks like you can change your view how you want to view but this is for the customer customer can decide to view like so this is what our front end looks like um this is very 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 uh, beautiful so um this is home this is store yeah, after your customers finish buying they, they come to cards and then they can come to setting change the language depending on which country they are from or they can choose to refresh app if the app is having issues so the website is referred to as an app so let's just go back to the remaining part i'm sure you're loving this already um uh, please uh, after you finish creating your own online store drop the link in the comment section i would like to see what you've done and please if you have friends also who run businesses on whatsapp please share this with them is very important so we are done with store um okay um shipping you can come here uh, to enable shipping so you can do flat percentage a particular amount for shipping or you can just i mean you can do flat or percentage flat is when you specify a particular amount um or you can do percentage uh so uh my shipping rate is uh let's say two thousand naira and then you can add some other things here so i'm going to save uh, so you can just come here and put this then my checkout also so this, this is my my checkout um minimum order you can just choose to come here and specify um what happens here it knows to display when the amount is lower than specif specified uh, you can come here and create form um checkout form so on the checkout on the store there, there was no form so we can't really capture um data but if i want to capture data let's say i want to do email marketing for example so you can also capture data in the checkout process so email um your name and your your city for example so whenever anyone proceeds to check out i would capture this data i've just had it here so your customers can also do whatsapp checkout um uh they can place another via whatsapp without going to the otp verification process so i want to do this um i want them so you can receive orders through the vipa official number and then finally mobile number um so for checkout you can allow customers to check out with their mobile number while checking out if users select the payment gates we order than pay later we we'll always ask for number so um do you want an otp verification just to double check that the customer actually wants to buy this product save so this is um check out um so let's let's go to payments now so for payment you can do stripe um for as if you have customers who want to buy from the us other countries like that you can do stripe configure your stripe you can enable stripe uh you can enable pay later but pay later is automatically selected for you so pay later customers can simply um place an order without paying immediately and then pay later after they've connected with the owner of the store you can do razor pay or uh, you can do pay stack here so i have a video on how to create a pay stack account so if you do configure here um it will ask you for if so if you enable pay stack for example um for pay stack, you can do card transfer card payments bank account bank transfer you need these two details your publishable key and your secret key so go to your paystack account to get that and then put them here to receive payment on paystack then let's go through our settings store name is easy man 
uh, you can change currency to if you want to but i'm selling in naira so we are, we are we are done with creating our store then you can do this you can create polls for example let's say you want to carry out a survey um what do you think about this product how much will you pay for this product um you can you can do this here um you can say like a name then finally you can do integration here you can integrate facebook pixel uh to measure the effectiveness of your advertising as if you are running ads on facebook or google analytics so this is beautiful just come here and integrate any of this tool but please take your time to uh customize your business page this is what my business page looks like so this is what our store looks like um we have products here so let's assume uh let's say i'm a customer you can see this badge sales is important so that your customers know what kind of offer uh i like this shirt so i'm going to add it to cart so i have two like like two products in my cart now um this shirt too okay wait let me buy one other thing okay let's see i want to buy a watch so this current watch had to cut so let me come to my cart now three products in my cart but you, you you see what i i did the other time let me let me delete this um this particular one yeah so remember when i was adding shipping settings when i was doing the shipping settings i said any orders uh below fifteen thousand era i'm going to charge a shipping fee of two thousand era but let's see what happens if i had another product now see what happens my shipping fee is out zero naira, so you can set your shipping fee so that means any order above 15,000 naira, i'm going to deliver it for free or if it's below 15,000 naira, you pay 2,000 naira for delivery fee so continue here so you can see the pay later now remember in the checkout process i added form where i said i want to capture um data so here the name of the buyer put my name my email address uh I'll put uh, this is my email address which city uh, I stay in Lagos so so I'm using pay later because that's the only one I've activated so continue now you can verify here your customers can confirm order you can either do direct whatsapp order or you can do its mobile number to do mobile number your customer will receive a one-time password before they can place this order i think this is better so that you are sure your customers actually want to buy this product uh, or you can do it whatsapp you can place order via whatsapp so whatsapp just once we'll see what it looks like this is the store order if i come back to my hub i'm going to see who has placed an order so let me come back to my app right now and then we'll see so can you see uh, this is very 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 beautiful remember i created a notification button that allows me to receive notification anytime anybody places an order so you can see a new order 26,000 euro um so i can come here and choose view order so there's no way you will miss an order because um you receive a notification with alarm and order so you can see unpaid and then these are my details you have your customer details here twenty six thousand era and then your customers chose pay later so then you can delete the order or you can decide to reach open whatsapp if you come here dashboard you are going to see you have total orders two 
your net revenue 41,000 euro average order uh, unpaid to open to you can see your top products uh, top customer so this is your dashboard if you come to order you can see you have two orders uh, you can choose to call the customer or just do this reach the customer on whatsapp so you have come to the end of this video i hope you got um a lot of value from this video please help me share this video with your friends who run businesses on whatsapp um let them create their own whatsapp store and share the link to their store in the comment section of this video i would like to see it and see what you've done um thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel share my channel link to your friends let them subscribe